really best 140 is here. No Teofimo, Uzi, no Ryan, uy Ryan, no Amy, Chicken, no Rolling, is a joker in the world no one. So what happened? I'm here. Who won't fight with me? Who? Welcome to Body Work. Welcome back. It's Michael Rogers. Welcome to Body Work Boxing. I want to talk about Sabril Matias. 31 years old, Puerto Rican IBF champion. A killer. In every sense of the word in the ring. Respectfully. But <clears throat> he's on the rise. And a lot of people have been trying to figure out, man, what is it, what's the special thing about this guy? A lot of people have been trying to discount him for the fact that, you know, um, it was a language barrier. But here recently, he's actually bridged that gap. You know what I'm saying? People who can resonate with their fans and their audience, and they can be able to be understood when they speak. No translation. You know, even though it was baby steps, man, he took another step in that direction. That's not, a, that's not the secret. The thing is, that fateful night, um, matter of fact, that was the night when Teofimo Lopez had fought Nakatani in a rough battle. But that's the night when he fought Maxim Davishev. And <clears throat> he fought three months prior to that. So from that March in 2019 to that fight in July, up until this fight in November, the man has fought nine times. So nine times in five years, less than five years nine times in less than five years <clears throat> and that's average of six months every six months him fighting in the ring and also he falls under the IBF where they only rehydrate especially being at the, where they only rehydrate 10 pounds takes discipline he's active he's 31 years old and I'm realizing that inactivity is a real problem in the sport but his coach, Coach Panda, had caught up with somebody and did an interview um, a couple weeks back. And he basically indicated that, look, man, this man walks around close to his fighting weight. He might have to cut like a little bit or whatever, but he, you don't have to worry about him ballooning up and ballooning down. I heard the same thing about Gary Antoine Russell. Because Gary Antoine Russell said, hey, looky here. I'm, I'm willing to do 40 or 35. I'm, I'm, you know, I stay right around that weight. I think Floyd was infamous for doing that. You know, I'm, I, I believe that, I want to say that Bud does it. I want to say, even though it's the frequency, but I want to say that he don't get too far unless he's targeting something. You know, I, I want to say he, unless he's targeting something, I, I want to say that, but um, being prepared is the key in the sport. Health-wise, we're seeing a lot and hearing a lot about um, rehydration and we got stoppages and how you can clear medicals and I think what his secret weapon is is his walk around with you don't have to worry about all that so when he go into camp he's going into camp looking to figure you out probably study you his, his people probably um, might study you or somebody on the team might study you and he's going in camp working on combination working on his stamina I think um, that's a, an attribution to his stamina as well. And he, the man been through a lot. His life like a movie. The more and more I look back and I start doing the homework and looking in the lab and looking at these guys. I remember when I seen Malik Hawkins, the Iceman, when they fought. And I believe that, I would say in the first for the first three rounds, I believe that Malik put up the best fight I've ever seen against this guy. Um... Maybe in spurts in the very beginning of this last fight against Ergashev, maybe in the very beginning, maybe him. But Malik, if if I don't know what kind of power, I don't know how Malik was going into the fight, but if Malik would have had a little bit more power, and I don't know what his conditioning was like or 
how it was it a short notice i don't know the background to it i do know that he put on the best round i ever seen but i said man this is a guy to where if you don't have the kind of power that he respect it, at one point in time he just let his hands down and just was walking forward just taking it like a hit man like jason like freddie just coming and I, I think that man you're gonna have to have something to stop him in his track yeah a lot of people say you can box yes but it's how you box how you turn but you gotta have something that more than respectable gotta have more than respectable power and then i think it's an tribute to one he's a grown man he already got his grown man strength two he has his weight in full control you know what i'm saying he walks around at the size that he needs to be so that when it's time to fight he can go into camp and worrying about a game plan a strategy to be able to continue his he's 20 and um one <clears throat> with 20 knockouts he gets the job done it seemed like about three or four rounds man he take everybody to the to the breaking point in three or four rounds and after that you can cancel christmas but that's his secret you know, I know, I hear uh, that he came out and put all the 140s on blast. You know what I'm saying? He called, he had names for each and every one of them. And I see a lot of protection out there, man. I see a lot of people say, oh, no, we don't want this. And, you know, because it's supposed to be a big bad wolf out there. But I see a lot of protection going on for this guy, Sabril, man. I mean, I, I would like to see the fight. If you've been following and watching, you already know what fight everybody's looking at, man, that we know needs to happen. But mysteriously, I bet you it's going to be a way for this fight not to happen. I do hear that T.O. actually made an offer to him. And he said something, something was going on with his hand or whatever, but he'll be ready. His coach confirmed that he'll be ready, you know, I think here shortly in the spring. And plus, I think we all waiting on um, the whole Amazon Prime thing with PBC to roll out and the affiliations or whatever else is going on um, in that arena to see. Because I know there are some ties or some offers or that's, you know, that's the, in some cases, that's the banner that's, that's you know what I'm saying, put out that kind of product. We just got to wait and see, man, but it's walking around right. That's the secret. Anyway, what you think about this guy, man? Who do you want to see Sabriel Matias fight next? You know, because some of the names I'm thinking about, man, y'all like, I, but I, it's a name, man. It's, it, and I, if you know me, you know the name I'm talking about, man. I would love to see that fight as well. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for tuning in here at Body Work Boxing, where we don't take things for face value. We do that body work. <laughs>